Hey guys, welcome to the Super Data Science Podcast. This is 5 Minute Friday and today we're talking about the importance of visualization in data science. And today I'm at the Queensland University of Technology Library. So Queensland University of Technology, or QUT for short, is a wonderful university in the city of Brisbane, in the state of Queensland, in Australia. And uh, today we're talking about visualization. So you probably have already noticed a couple of emails floating around and a few invitations for you to come and join us in the revamped Tableau 2018 course. In fact, we're launching two courses at the same time this week. We're launching the Tableau Basic uh, 2018 course and the Tableau uh, 2018 Advanced course at the same time. So we'd love to see you in there. And today's 5 Minute Friday is inspired by those courses to talk about the topic of visualization. So last week during the 5 Minute Friday, we spoke about the importance of storytelling in data science. Well, visualization is something that can help with storytelling. In fact, visualization has two components to it. This is my personal view that visualization uh, in data science can be used for two distinct um, purposes. And we're gonna actually start with a different purpose, not the one that's related to storytelling, but kind of like it is in a way, but it isn't. So the first purpose of visualization that I uh, define for myself is visualization for data mining. When you have a lot of data, when you have tons and tons of rows and columns and um, data points in your data set, it can be very difficult to go through them, very difficult to understand what's going on and make sense of it, even for yourself, even to understand where to start building your models, you know, to explore the data, to perform that crucial step of data mining when you're looking for clues, when you're looking for answers, when you're not even ready yet to build a model because you want to understand what are the important features, what are the not important features, what you know anomalies exist in your data set, what does your data set look like and what does it feel like. If we were machines, we would just like look through that all that data, all those tables and um, spreadsheets or whatever other data we have and we would understand right away what's going on, we'd be able to from there uh, start our analytics, but we're not. For us as humans, it's really hard to look at a spreadsheet of um, a billion uh, rows and try to get something from it. What we can do on the other hand is we can look at visuals and that's where visualization comes in in this first purpose where it allows you and helps you to see your data, to get a feel for your data, to uh, transform your data from just numbers into something that can actually um, that you can interact with, that you can understand as the explorer, as the investigator. And that's why I really like visualization a lot at the very start of my projects, um, before I even create any models, even before, I, you know, like even sometimes before I do the proper data preparation, when I can just like get the data, throw it into the visualization tool, as long as it's like a drag and drop fast tool, I already might be able to get some insights from it. It might even help me during the data preparation phase to understand, okay, what are the anomalies? All right, what, are the, what do the distributions look like? And other things like that. So that's data visualization for data mining. On the other hand, we have visualization for presentation. And that ties in very well with what we talked about last time on the previous week's 5 Minute Friday, when we were talking about the importance of storytelling. So. As you remember, we when we just throw hard facts at people, only two areas of the brain are actually active. When we tell a story, we can engage way more areas of the brain and that will help with comprehension and retention of information. And that's why it's so important to be able to come up with not just a visual visualization that conveys the insights, but a visualization that actually tells a story, that engages your audience, that gets them intrigued, that gets them fascinated, that makes them say wow, that makes them you know, ask more questions and get the answers from that same visualization or the next visualization in your slide deck, in your presentation. Um, and that is, my friends, the importance and value of visualization. In fact, we currently are in a state of data science where there's lots of companies demanding data scientists and there's lots of data scientists that are ready to provide their services. This field has been around for you know, a couple of years now and uh, it's slowly starting to get to the phase where it's, uh, on the, the supply, the demand is high and the supply is high. But what is actually the missing link are those data scientists that can not only get the insights, 
but actually convey the insights to the audience in a way that's going to be engaging, it's going to be fun, it's going to help them understand. Those are the top, top data scientists and one of the most important skills that they have is visualizing the data or the insights that they have and presenting them to uh, the audience. So that is the importance of visualization. It can help you in two phases. It can help you at the very start of your data science project and it can help you at the very end of your data science project uh, in order to make you one of the most successful data scientists. So if you're excited about that, uh, and you've seen some of our Tableau invitations for Tableau 2018 courses that we're releasing this week, then jump on board. Tableau is an amazing tool, one of my favorite, or in fact, the favorite, my favorite tool for visualizing uh, data. Uh, it's a very drag and drop tool, very easy to use, and we'd love to help you master that tool and become a master visualizer. And on that note, thank you for being here today and I can't wait to see you back here next time. Until then, happy analyzing.